back. You're listening to Get Real with Bob and Stacy, and you're joining us for our Leaders of Legends segment. Our guest is Karen Briscoe, mega agent and author of Real Estate Success in Five Minutes a Day. Welcome to the show, Karen. Thank you for having me, Bob and Stacy. Thank you. So let me give everybody some background on Karen. Invest your first five minutes a day in reading and sharpening your skills. This one step can put you on the fast track to success in your life and business. Many masters and experts have shared their wisdom through stories. Learning from these experienced leaders by reading their words is how you too can achieve personal and professional transformation. Success is achieved by getting into action immediately and applying the principles learned. Applied knowledge leads to success. That is the beauty of Karen's top performing real estate success in five minutes a day book. You truly only have to invest five minutes a day to achieving amazing results. Make the decision now to become a lifelong learner and you will become one immediately. Commit to one habit of reading one of the 365 daily chapters first thing every morning and then identify one new concept to apply in your life and business. Success thinking combined with success success activities and success vision creates a sweet pot that truly will transform your life. So Karen, why did you write real estate success in five minutes a day? Well, as happens with many people and yourself probably included, when you achieve a high level of success, people want to know how you do it. And one of the I do a lot of training and coaching and speaking and people want to learn how to to achieve at a high level, but it seemed that they weren't willing to invest a lot of time. They would they would buy the book, but they didn't ever actually read the book. And also I found that in our industry, in sales in particular, we have people that get distracted easily, what I call the shiny object or the squirrel syndrome. Mm-hmm. And so they would go off on another program or get another book, but never actually apply what they had been trained on or learned. Mm -hmm. And so I said, well, could you do five minutes a day? And actually, Google has studied that five minutes is now the average person's attention span. So the idea of providing one reading a day, five minutes, is very empowering because you actually accomplish something. And then you have a tip or technique or strategy to apply in throughout the day in your business and life. And it becomes very sticky because... Most books are are linear. They have, you know, multiple pages in a topic, and people either, again, get distracted or they don't have the time to finish it. So this gives a, a, a feeling of satisfaction and completion by having it be one, one page or five minutes a day. Wow. So who should read your book, and who did you write it for? Well, it actually is... is great for both new agents who are wanting to get to some basic, good core principles and knowledge of the real estate business and life principles, but it also is great for seasoned agents who want to jumpstart their business because we all, even people that have been in the business a long time like myself, are constantly wanting to stay you know, current and, and polish my skills and, and the industry is constantly changing, so there's always... You have to be um, mindful and on top of that. So this is a great way to do that as well. And what are the key messages that you share in the book? Well, the even though every day is different, it does have a structure. So it's a, a combination of information and inspiration. That's what I call like information or like a dummy's book or an mm-hmm. instructional book, but inspiration actually motivates you to do something, right? Mm -hmm. So it's a combination of both, and then it is the key core aspects to a business. Commit to get leads, which Mm -hmm. is lead generation or business development. Then you have that lead, and you have to either convert it or consult to actually get it to sell. If you're a lender, you have to, you know, get the person to fill out the application and get the loan closed. If you're a real estate agent, you have to get the client to write a contract and mm-hmm. go through the processes to get it to settlement. And then what happens many times I've found is people get the lead and they get it to settlement and then they don't have anything to do and they look up and they go, oh, I better go get another lead. 
and they get it to settlement, and they get stuck in mm-hmm. a transactional loop. Mm-hmm. And they're only as good as their next deal, right? right, when you do that. So at the same time, it has ideas and concepts and topics on what I call connect to build and grow. And those are the things that will help sustain and build a business that actually is, is it becomes eventually saleable, right? That's how you build a business that mm-hmm. you can actually convey onto the next generation or to sell it. But it is ongoing enterprise and gets you out of that transactional loop. And then, as you mentioned, all of that is encompassed in success, thinking, activities, and vision because mindset is a key component to success. So there's topics on that as well. Hmm. I already love this book. Mm-hmm. Um I, I can already see the difference between your book and so many other real estate-related sales books, but what do you think makes your book stand out from all the other real estate books? Well, I think it's a combination of the information with inspiration, which becomes actually Michael Mayer's the one that said that's transformational. I say it's like putting peanut butter and chocolate together and getting a Reese's peanut butter mm-hmm. cup. <laughs> But it's also the bite-sized pieces, because what I found is that the people who focus on one thing and actually think about it and process it and put it into action, they're more likely to remember it and to be able to apply it again. What happens with a lot of training and books is, again, it's, it's almost a tsunami effect. It's all good, but it's too much. Mm-hmm. And so people just don't do anything, right? They... They don't make changes to their behavior or they don't come up with a new technique or strategy or idea because they don't have a a method to get it into implementation. And by the the bite-sized pieces, if you will, actually it's been proven. um, I didn't come up with that idea. Daily readers, motivational books, uh, scriptural references have, have done this for eons. What I did was put it into a business genre. Mm-hmm. so that what works in other areas of one's life can also be applied in their business. Hmm. And you're creating great habits for anybody reading your book. Just the habit of reading it for five minutes a day is amazing. And that it get, it, that becomes a positive habit loop. Mm-hmm. Um, if you, I think you're familiar with Hal Elrod and yeah. Miracle Morning, mm-hmm. which Hal has endorsed the book as part of the Savers so those that apply the Hal Elrod Miracle Morning may be familiar with it, but R in Savers is reading. And that mm-hmm. is in order to actually advance your professional and business development, you have to do some learning outside, learn from masters, people that have gone before, others that are thought leaders in the industry. Right. And... Th- this is one way to do it so that it is very uh, almost habit forming. The people that are following the five minute success are finding real transformational change in their business. Hmm. Hmm. I love all of it because I think so many salespeople, uh, real estate agents included, um, they always look at like even a training program. I see so many of them that just attend training programs and never really do anything with the information. And I think it's because it's so overwhelming to sit through a two hour training program and get bombarded with new ideas that they end up, it's like information overload. So I can see how the bite sized pieces, just a little teeny chunk every day can be life transforming. By the way, what inspired you to write the book? Well, wanting to give back because it, once you reach a certain level in professional um, and business success, and I fa- felt this uh, great desire to give back, and I was giving back in training and coaching and speaking, but what I found is is it wasn't maybe the impact that I thought that a book would do, and it, it really is true because, or it's become true as an author, then you become an authority. And then you have more opportunities and that to reach people. What I'm hearing back from the people that are, like I said, reading Real Estate Success in Five Minutes a Day is very uh, inspiring in itself because, you know, I could reach a lot more people in this type of format than I could in my real estate practice, even though I'm highly successful. Uh, This allows me to reach a lot more people. 
Wow. Hmm. By the way, do you read Real Estate Success in Five Minutes a Day still every day? I do. And, you know, mm-hmm. even though I wrote it and I know all the stories, mm-hmm. it is very empowering to, again, uh, think about one thing a day mm-hmm. because it allows it to really sink in and it has, has a different um, effect than, uh, like, so, for example, today is, Real estate agents are like weather forecasters. We're taping this on March 10th. Mm-hmm. And my, my husband mentioned to me this morning, he goes, well, the weather forecaster didn't predict the weather very well today. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I said, oh, you must have read it. And he said, yes. And, he said, and I said, you know, it's just like the real estate market, right? We, we do a comparative market analysis. We make our best predictions as to right. what we think the market's going to do in the future mm-hmm. and how we think, you know, buyers and will respond to a list price or whatever, but no one really knows for sure. And that one analogy is a great tip that yes. somebody can use if they're trying to help a seller understand why the market isn't behaving the way they had predicted it or thought it might. Um, so it, just that one example is mm-hmm. something that our team, you know, will use to in our team meetings awesome. or discussions with agents when we're trying to help them come up with a way to have a client see that the market, why the market is doing what it's doing and how we, like the weatherman, we don't control the market. Exactly. Mm -hmm. We just predict it, right? So, yes, I do read the book, and it is a completely different experience Mm -hmm. reading it one page a day from when uh, I was writing it. Wow. So since the book is Real Estate Success in Five Minutes a Day, it's worth asking, what does success mean for you? Well, I think what you just said about um, wanting to get back, but also I, I use the real estate um, axiom that you want to use real estate for its highest and best use. And I believe that when I'm achieving at my highest and best level, then that is that is success. And that obviously goes into many areas of life, and business is one of them, and, and giving back to the community and my profession is another and my family. And so I, I kind of use that as a way to think about all the areas of my life mm-hmm. and what success means in it. It's going to have a little bit of a different definition, but when I'm achieving at that level, then I, I feel, I feel successful. Okay. So anybody listening right now, it's probably already on Amazon buying a copy of the book, but even with prime membership, they're not going to have the book until tomorrow. So if we could, if you could give one five minute lesson for success to hold them over to, to until tomorrow, what would that lesson be? Ah, <laughs> well, I would say it would be, uh, be a lifelong learner mm-hmm. because the, the, the industry is constantly changing. The one beauty of the book is, is most of the principles are what I call evergreen. And so even as the industry changes, uh, their basic fundamental principles of lead generation, consulting aversion, you know, building and growing a business, and then success thinking. But the idea is that even with that, there's always going to be changes in the industry and the world like the weather we can't predict so if you're if you commit to lifelong learning then you will embrace that and you will be living into it Hmm. so i couldn't agree with you more i just taught a class for agents and it was a whole 30 minute program on applied knowledge and how to be a better learner and i was wondering if you have any advice just in when you make a commitment to become somebody that is looking for learning opportunities every day Uh, For me, the best way that I learn is if I learn something today, I will make a note of it and then I will try to write about it because I enjoy writing. And then so I'll write about it in my blog and share it with people. And I do the writing more to make the lesson stick in my own head. And then the side benefit is other people get to learn from it, too. But do you have anything that you do in order to try to get the new stuff you're learning to cement into your head and then to be used in your business and life? Well, what you just spoke about is is very relevant. Uh, Getting into application, in fact, at the end of each day's uh, story or chapter, whatever you want to call it, there is a takeaway. And that's why we did that. 
mm-hmm. um, included it because I felt that what if you read it and you you just are informed, then that's just if you don't do anything about it, it's just actually right. effectively entertainment, right? right? So to get people into application and journaling is very powerful as well. I mean that also is part of Hal Elrod's mm-hmm. Miracle Morning. One of the components of savers is to journal because many people when they write they will make a connection much stronger the you know just even me using the example of today's reading in our conversation i would immediately find a way to put things into application Mm -hmm. and use it because that will cement the knowledge or or firm it up in my repertoire when i'm out working with clients or customers or or coaching an agent to success, uh, when you have those repertoires uh, stored away in a, in a way you can recall it, then you're more likely to be able to use it to success. Right. Okay. This is awesome stuff. Um, and I know that you mentioned a couple of times Hal Elrod. For anybody, since you guys are going to be on Amazon buying uh, Karen Briscoe's book, Real Estate Success in Five Minutes a Day, Again, it's Karen Briscoe. So when you're searching on Amazon, it's definitely worth also picking up a copy of Hal Elrod's Miracle Morning. He's got several versions of it. We've had him on our show a couple of times, uh, but awesome stuff. You also mentioned Michael Mayer, The Seven Levels of Communication. I'd say the three books that every real estate agent should own are Miracle Morning, Uh, The Seven Levels of Communication, Michael Mayer, and definitely Real Estate Success in Five Minutes a Day. Karen, where can people find you? Well, in addition to Amazon, we do have bulk sales available. So if people like are having a a team or an office or Mm -hmm. they want to uh, give the books out, I've had lenders and settlement companies and other ancillary industries find it as being a very great resource to help the agents in their lives be successful so then they can achieve at a higher level as well. But the uh, website is 5-Minute Success. Okay, 5MinuteSuccess.com. You can also find her on Facebook, 5-Minute Success, and Twitter, 5-Minute Success. So make sure you get out and buy a copy of Real Estate Success in 5 Minutes a Day. Karen Briscoe, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks, Karen. Thank thank you, Stacey and Bob. That's going to do it for this edition of Get Real. Tune in again next weekend for more.